I want you to stop and think about something. What if you went to the store and there was absolutely nothing there? What would you do? What would you do if you could no longer depend on any store to really supply the food that you eat? If you take a good look around at the stores, it's almost there already. You either can't find it or the price is so high you can't afford it. I mean, I was watching a video where they were showing that steak was $221 a pound. Yeah, $221 for a pound. Now it was Wagyu steak and supposedly Wagyu steak has always been expensive. But I've actually known people to buy Wagyu steak and it was never that high priced, ever. Now, there's things, for instance, like jalapenos and tomatoes and certain food items that have always been fairly cheap, but not anymore. And not only are they not cheap, but the quality is way down. You have produce that is sitting there that is actually rotted, but it's sitting there for sale. Cucumbers that are all shriveled up and rotten on the ends and jalapenos that are all wrinkled and already started to dry. They're just not good quality anymore. And so we depend less and less on the store because we have no other choice. I mean, you can't find something, a simple jar of sauerkraut. You can't find it at the store. And so you're running around chasing two and three different stores. Like, look at these tomatoes. Those tomatoes there in that corner are ugly. I mean, a lot of them were even rotted. And then you got empty spots. Now, here you got a couple of avocados for $2 and something for a bag. They're kind of smaller, but then over here, further over, they're almost seven bucks for a couple of avocados. Yeah, seven dollars. That's a lot of money for avocados. And you know, you're getting to the bacon section, and they're they're filled up with basically one type or one brand of bacon. The sausage shocked me. Because it's Jimmy Dean, but it's maple flavored sausage. That's all there is. Is that right there? And it's maple flavored. Now they have something called Farm Ranch or Farmland or something like that. But um, it's not a good quality either. So you're stuck. What do you do? Run to another Walmart, another store, looking for more, paying more gas, paying higher prices. Now, I'm not saying they don't have anything. They do seem to have your favorite junk food available. Have you noticed that? Your favorite junk food. But then your fruits and vegetables are high priced and a lot of them are not a good quality. And so you're stuck. You're stuck less and less being able to depend on your local grocery stores to feed your family because the food's just not there, or it's priced so high you can't afford it. You find yourself putting things back because you just can't afford to buy all the things you need. And it's going to get worse and worse. And the next few videos, that's exactly what I want to show you. You may have to think of food in a whole different way and not just what you're getting at your local grocery store. Because I believe personally the time is coming that you're not going to be able to get it at the store. We have never seen shortages in our area or really a whole lot of empty shelves. Well, it's starting to show up even in our stores in our area. There's lots of empty spaces, lots of high prices, you know, lots of... Uh, junk food, yeah, you can find that. Cookies, yeah, sure can. Now, I went to more than one store, like I said. 
to get what you want, you're going to have to go to several stores. You just are. I mean, the cucumbers here were better. And they don't cost as much. And the potatoes were the same way. They had a five-pound bag of potatoes for a buck. Not bad. But come back, because I'm going to talk to you seriously about food and what you need to store and how to prepare it.